Alright guys, it's been too damn long since I made a video. Uh, I know you guys might have been waiting, might have been wondering what the hell happened to that dude. Uh, man, I've been out and about doing some things, uh, staying busy, working, uh, and playing with this thing. Ran into some issues with this thing. Uh, the other night we were out hog hunting and uh, came across a sounder of pigs. Now the problem is, man, I haven't been able to uh, record any of that stuff just because, man, I got the night vision going, I got the thermal going. It's kind of hard to record on your phone at nighttime uh, and let you guys know what's going on. Lone Star Boars, man, he's got some damn good videos. Ultimate Night Vision, they got some damn good videos. BTOMF, he ain't got shit. Uh, it's kind of hard to get that stuff on film. It gives you a, a greater respect for what those guys do. Uh, O'Neill Ops, man, give a props where props is due. Hans East, Texas. Uh, Hans ETX, that guy's good too. Uh, so check out their channels. But anyway, this is a little amateur channel. Uh, man, I ran into some issues with this pistol when we were hog hunting. Uh, man, took the night vision, decided to shoot some sound, you know, sound or hogs. I had my dad with me. He was running this thing. Now, if you guys are thinking what I'm thinking, this barrel is only six and a half inches. It's probably pretty damn short, probably too damn short to be knocking a hog down, especially in one shot. Uh, velocity I was getting with these bullets, the Hornady, oh, what were those? Hornady V Max, uh, the 110 grain. And I was getting some velocity about 2100 feet per second. And that's moving pretty quick for a six and a half inch barrel, 300 blackout. I don't think it's going to be efficient enough to take down some hogs. Uh, man, if you were within 25, 50 yards, maybe, but we were taking 100 yard shots and it just isn't going to drop them, I don't think. It doesn't have enough energy. Uh, but anyway, long story short, we shot some hogs, and uh, in the midst of all the chaos, man, this damn gun, something happened. The BCG got locked back. Let me take this out. I don't have any ammo in here. To let you guys know. BCG got locked back and uh, it would not seat fully. So it would stop, you know, kind of like right there. Well, I'm in a little bit of a situation here because I can't take the upper and the lower apart, so I can't really diagnose what's going on. I can try to slam the BCG home, and I tried that a couple times, but you don't want to force something that won't go. Uh, obviously, something was fucked up. So I took it back home, like I said, we were night hunting. I did not stay the night there. I drove back home and got it to my house. Took it out, looked at it for about two hours. Figured, man, I, I ain't gonna fix it tonight. Uh, so the next day I took it apart and decided to take the gas block and the gas tube off. I did not want to go that route. I was thinking I was gonna have to take that damn barrel out uh, because the bolt was stuck for whatever reason. Well, that wasn't the case. Uh, the gas tube, and you guys will see a picture of it. V7, this is a V7 barrel. Uh, it's a fluted barrel. It's pretty damn expensive, but it's a nice looking barrel. It comes with their proprietary gas block and gas tube. Uh, so their gas tube, I mean the gas block, sits up a little bit higher than the normal standard low profile gas block. Uh, so that requires a straight gas tube. Right. Uh, so, because the BCG couldn't see forward, the gas tube was bent up, and it wasn't making the uh, was suggestive as hell. But this wasn't making the contact with the gas key. Uh, it caused the BCG not to see. So once I got the gas tube out of there, BCG slammed home. Everything's good to go. It tore up my gas key somewhat. I'm gonna see if. Uh, Man, matter of fact, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can take this out. Um, it tore up the gas key a little bit. I don't know if this is going to be usable or not, but we'll find out. I don't know if this is going to focus. 
Let me see if I can get this in the camera here. Hold on. Yeah, probably ain't gonna focus. Now I'm shaky as hell. Oop. I don't have enough light on it. Anyway. You can tell right there. The gas key is somewhat... Uh, I'm not going to mess with it. Anyway, the gas key's got a little damage to it. Um, I'll find out if that's going to be usable. Uh, but what the cool thing is... It may still be okay. The cool thing is... Um, once, I, once I found what the problem was, my immediate reaction is... Hey dude... Email the uh, manufacturer, and on the uh, the flip side, they sell that barrel with their gas block and gas tube. They don't sell this gas tube uh, outright; they don't sell it individually. So, I emailed V7 and I told them, "Hey, this is what happened." V7 Weapons. I told them, "Hey, this is what happens. Uh, this is what happened." And uh, man. I don't know if you guys can replace it. Uh, if you can't, I'll buy it outright. Um, you know, gas tube shouldn't bend like that. I've never seen that before. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I was trying to work it and get it in there. I mean, I may have done a little bit more damage than what was necessary. Uh, but V7, they they uh, they took that email. I called them on Monday, and I let them know, hey, dude, uh, this is what happened. And tech support got the email. They emailed me real quick. I said, hey, sent this over to sales. You're going to get a gas tube ASAP. Uh, later that day, I got a tracking number, and they're sending me another gas tube. Dude, let me tell you something. In the gun world, in the sales world, that's some badass customer service. And I'm going to uh, applaud V7 for standing behind their product and doing that. Uh, that's badass, and that's why you buy premium parts. That's why you get uh, good companies that'll back their product. I got nothing but good things to say about V7. Matter of fact, I got their uh, the pins. I've got their barrel, their gas block, their gas tube. Man, I use a lot of V7 parts on my AR builds because the premium, they're nice, and they look good. Um, but more importantly, they function pretty well. Well, subtract the gas tube. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll have to troubleshoot that. Anyway, dude, hunting season is coming up. I figured I'd make this bullshit video for you guys. I know you're wondering what the hell happened to this dude. Uh, man, stay tuned. I'm going to hopefully get some video footage during the day of us hog hunting, of us deer hunting. Hopefully you can get out there and target shoot a little bit. I've been missing that. My damn reloading bench has got some dust on it. Um, man, got an infant. It's kind of hard to get out and shoot, uh, especially when you got a responsibility like that. But I'm going to try to make these videos. You guys stay tuned. I know a lot of you guys are subscribing to this channel. I've never asked you guys to do that, but I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to make some more content, some more badass content, keep you cats entertained. So... Stay tuned, man. Uh, I was gonna update you with what I got, what I've been doing. Been going out at night, been hog hunting. Uh, if I can get some video footage through the thermal, I will. Uh, and I may put some bullshit videos at the end of this uh, video anyway, so you guys can see, you know, kind of the things that I've been doing. Uh, but anyway, stay tuned. Got a lot of content coming. Got a lot of free time coming up pretty quick. So uh, be coming to hit your shit pretty soon.